Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. If you're interested, please continue watching. But first, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Let's get into this look. First and foremost, I like to start with moisturized lips. So I'm going to take this Blistex Lip Medix Lip Protectant and apply it to my lips. Make sure they're all coated. I start with my brows and I'm going to take this Nika K New York lip. lip. I'm going to take this Nika K New York eyebrow pencil. Um, I got it from the beauty supply store. And does it have a shade name? It's in black brown. And my face is already moisturized. With models, um, I know I have one that's already kind of sort of naturally arched and then this one, she just curves a little bit. So we have to do a little bit more work on her. But for the most part, they usually turn out as sisters. And for an everyday look, I usually just go in with an eyebrow pencil. I don't really worry about a gel or a pomade. And I'm just doing something for an everyday look. Okay. <laughs> now I like to take my, if I can find it. Now I'm going to take my MAC Pot Concealer in NC45 and I'm going to clean up the bottom of my brows. Only the bottom for this shade. And I'm only taking a little. A little goes a very long way, especially because I'm only trying to get the bottom of my lash coated. Well, not coated, cleaned up. And I'm going to buff that out with a brush after I complete the second one. And of course, like I stated earlier, this brow right here is the one that needs a little bit more TLC. And I'm just gonna use this brush from BH Cosmetics to buff out any harsh lines that I may have from this concealer. And if you see me looking this way, I'm looking at myself in my monitor. Next, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal. And this is in the color Chestnut. 
and I'm going to use this shade for the tops of my brows. So I'm just going to put it onto my hand like so. And I'm going to take that same brush that I used to outline the bottom of my lashes and I'm going to use that to outline the top. And today is actually the day that I wash my brushes. Yippee. I wash my brushes every Saturday. And I like to daily clean them as well or not really daily just whenever i use them because there's no point in me cleaning them if they aren't used i mean every day but um every single saturday i make sure that i took way too much of this concealer but we're gonna use it later but every day that i use my brushes i make sure that i clean them with a daily spray cleaner and the one that I use is one that I actually made myself. And if I um, didn't say it already, I use two different colored um, concealers because I want the top of my brow to easily blend in with my foundation. So I use a color that's closer to my skin tone for the top of my brows. I'm gonna take that same brush, that same BH Cosmetics brush and blend the top as well. going to run my spoolie through my brows once more all right next I'm going to move on no I'm not I'm going to take my wow brow from elf it's wow brow from elf and it is um their brow gel and I have it in the color natural brown and I'm just going to sweep that through my brows so they won't move. And on an everyday basis, I do not do eyeshadow. So we're going to skip that step. But we are going to do something to the eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and do that before I do foundation. So those are set. And with that extra um concealer that we had that um darker la girl concealer that we had i'm going to take that on that same brush that i use for my eyebrows i'm going to take that same brush and i'm just going to put that all over my eye in the crease on the lid literally all over and the reason that i'm doing this is because um, I find when I put on foundation and I don't have anything on my eyes, like anything, period, my eyelids or my eyes are a different color than the rest of my face when I do this. So, to keep that from happening and looking weird, I like to put on a darker concealer or a concealer that's closer to my actual um, foundation shade and I like to put that on my eyelid and I just blend it out and of course every time we put on something liquid or cream we have to set it with powder so I'm going to set this with some powder
You have to make sure everything is well blended. You don't want to see any harsh lines or lines of demarcation. No harsh lines around here. And I usually like to sit with my actual foundation powder. This is not the one I'm looking for. All right. And I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to set my eyelids. And first, to make sure that we don't have any creasing, I'm gonna take that brush that I blended out that concealer with and blend it out one more time, just so we don't have any creasing. I'm gonna take that mineralized skin finish and just pat it on my eyelids. And this is the same powder that I'm going to use later to set my foundation. Again, same thing on the other eye. Gonna take that BH Cosmetics brush, make sure we don't have any creasing. And of course, this is your eye, so we're not gonna pull too hard. Eye is sensitive. Again, take that mineralized skin finish and just tap it all over the eyelid. Next, we're going to get into foundation. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC50. I'm going to just take that, put like a pump and a half on my hand, as you see here. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. I have some water over here as well, making sure that's damp. I'm going to take that sponge. And I'm just going to use the tip of it, dip that into that foundation that's on my hand, and blend. And because this is just a regular, schmegular, degular, everyday type of look, I'm going to only, I'm only going to do one layer of this. You have to make sure you get down there in your neck. And everywhere. And I'm going to actually zoom you guys out just a little bit. I forgot to prime my face, but it's okay because we're not going anywhere. I'm taking this right off when I get done. But always prime your face, always. So after we've done our foundation, we're going to go on with concealer. I'm going to use my um, my Pro Longwear Concealer from Mac in the color NC45. And this should be bright enough. I usually like my under eye pretty bright, but this should be bright enough for this everyday look. But if not, we're going to add something else to it. I'm just going to put that concealer on my hand, take some, and blend it into this under eye. You want to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly. You don't want to see any harsh lines. 
like none. And what I like to do, I like to go all on the side of my nose as well. And um, once we get to contouring and bronzer, you're going to see that I do not contour my nose because I actually like the shape of my nose. I think it's a nice little shape. So I do not, I don't, I don't really contour my nose. If I do anything to my nose, contouring wise, I usually just put a little dab of powder on it or something. But other than that, nope, nope, nope. I do not contour my nose. And what I like to do for the concealer or the highlighting concealer on my forehead and the bridge of my nose and my chin, I like to take this L'Oreal True Match in the color Medium Deep C678. Now that everything is blended and we're looking pretty good, we're going to take, I'm going to take this um, Makeup Revolution Baking Powder. It's in Banana Deep. I'm just going to take that, tap it into the top, tap a little bit into the top. Use that Real Technique sponge. Use any side of the pointed end. Dab it in there. Now I like to tap off the excess and I'm gonna take whatever the opposite side is and I'm going to make sure that any lines of creasing is gone. So, I'm going to take that sponge. I'm going to get up in there real good. I'm not going to bake this technically. I'm going to sit it here, sit it everywhere else. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to have to put some there anyway. <laughs> But once I'm done placing this powder everywhere that I place that highlighting concealer, I'm just going to swipe it off, swipe it away. And next, I'm going to take that same brush that I used my, um, with my Miracle, um, my Mineralize, I'm sorry, with my Mineralize Skin Finish. And I'm just going to dab a little bit. Like, it's not even enough to have to tap off the excess. I'm going to dab a little bit into there. And I'm going to use that powder to swipe off any excess powder. Next, we're going to bronze up the face. And we're going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. In the shade what shady beaches and since we're bronzing we're just warming our face up so I'm just going to take it and swirl so now that we have bronzed we're going to move on to contouring and since this is an everyday look, I'm not going to cream contour. I'm just going to use my powders. And I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Kit, the medium to tan. This palette has literally been through it. But we're still holding on. And I'm going to take another Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to swirl into, as you can see, the ones that I use the most. This one here and here. I'm just swirling to both of those. And with contouring, unlike bronzing, you're trying to add dimension to the face. So you're going to actually focus this product into a certain area. Sometimes I'll lay 
just a little slight contour on my forehead because I don't think my forehead is that large. So I just take a little bit and rub it across it. Just a little bit. Just rub across that forehead. Okay. Now that that is done, we're almost finished. And I did not forget to set the rest of my face. So I'm going to take that I'm gonna skin finish again. And everywhere that I don't have either that banana powder or those contour powders, I'm going to set that foundation. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is eyeliner. And for my regular Schmegula Degula, every day I looks I need to sharpen this I just like to use my NYX wonder pencil and I have the shade D and it's just going to open the eyes because it's more like a um more like a nude eyeliner color so I take this eyeliner and I just focus it into my waterline. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and finish my face before I continue to finish the eyes. And I'm going to get into my highlighting palette from Anastasia and I'm going to take the color golden bronze it's the darkest shade in this glow kit and I'm just going to place it everywhere I want the light to hit and I'm not one who doesn't like a nice nose highlight But I don't go all the way down the bridge of my nose. I start here, same place I start with my concealer, and I stop right about here. So. And I like to put a little bit onto my cupid's bow. Um, last thing for the face is something that I don't really do very often but I'm going to use some blush and I'm going to take the Coastal Scents Forever blush in the shade Romantic and if I do use a blush it's usually a purpley pink mauve color <sighs> like with no matter what type of look I'm going with and I forgot how pigmented this was. So, yeah. Whenever I find that I put on too much blush or too much of anything, honestly, I like to take the. Sorry. All right. I like to take either the brush that I used to. Um, put my foundation powder on and I dab a little of that foundation or I take some translucent powder and I just go over the spot that I think has too much product so that's what I just did there and last but not least we're going to do not last but not least because we ain't got nothing on our lips so um, the next thing I'm going to do though is get into some lashes and today I'm going to use the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes in the Style 1 and as always, when you're taking your lashes out, you always want to pull them out gently. But this is what the lash looks like. It has a pretty thin band. And now I am just going to size them up for myself and cut them. So I'll see y'all when I'm done with that. 
So I'm going to use this Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. It's in black. I usually like to use clear, but I cannot use, I, not, I cannot use, I cannot find any of my clear lash adhesives. Okay, now that both of our lashes are on, um, I just remembered that I forgot to put on mascara. So I'm gonna put mascara on my upper and lower lashes right now. And I'm just taking the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Um, for my lips today, I'm going to take my lip liner from MAC in the color, I think this is my chestnut, yeah, this is my chestnut liner from MAC. take my elf gloss it's the lip plumping gloss and it's in mocha twist it's a really really pretty nude color And I'm not sure if it really plumps my lips, but it does have a little sting to it. Like as soon as it applies it, wastes no time. So, this is the final look. If you would, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. I really hope you like this look. See you next time.